Yeah, it's a bit empty. It's, it's preview time, it's Saturday preview time. Rose Hill is the venue tomorrow. Of course, we've got to get through Hawkesbury in the meantime. That's where you're going soon, Yeah, I'm going from here. So, um, so we're having 25 weeks off over Christmas. Well, who's exhausted? Yeah. But anyway, uh, look, you may have seen that, uh, yeah. you may have seen that the junior team did a uh, Ballarat preview for, um, for tomorrow. Did you get a fat for Ballarat? No. Huh? You know, I, I, I needed a blue pill. And he even, he even chucked in the WA race. What is the race in WA? You know, what is a good project? The one good project won last year. The Railway Stakes? Whatever it is. Right. Dicko was keen on it, but anyway, good project. I think it's okay. about $17, $18. How is Dicko? Yeah, he's good. He's off Gallivan. He was out partying again last night. He's got a hell of a life, I tell you. Younger people have energy, don't they, Mark? Yeah. Old and crusty now. All right, so what are we going to do at Rose Hill tomorrow, Glenn? We've got the rail out six, the weather's well, we're hot, going to hot, bet. hot. We're going to bet. It's a betting program. And it's oh, a Mountain yeah. Yard Mail program too. A lot of our horses again that I need to look at. Yes. Without trying to sprout too much. Yeah, it gets a bit thick uh, there, particularly late in the yeah, my late, late in the day. Rail out six is probably your on pace-ish. Uh, look, I'm reluctant to say that Rose Hill's got a, got a, got a favour because it's played so well. But at, at six metres with this hot weather, it's sort of tracks bone dry and it's, um, it's probably up, up up on the speed the place to be. <coughs> you start yeah. with an interesting three-year-old race over 1200 metres and Louboutin is marginally favourite at $3.90 ahead of Mega Mall at $4.00. Gibraltar Girl, the back-to-back -back Canterbury uh, night winner, $4.60. $9.00, sorry, $7.50 Baltic Whisper, $9.00 Flash Fibian, $9.50 Palladian, $15.00 Phuket. Um, what did I do with my speed map? I left it behind. Um, did we go get it? I do actually. Yeah, you go get it. We'll just leave the camera on. We'll just sit there and look at the camera. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not going to do that, are we? Have you got yeah. a story? Maybe a Tuesday night story from Poker Glen? Uh, no, 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 no. We don't want to discuss that poker story. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Young Gord. Oh, what uh, about the great victory for G Pollitt? Eh? Yeah, yeah, he was a winner. Played against the big boys and took them out. Mm, very yeah, nice. Yeah. Beat him at the poker. And now we're back, so that was pretty exciting. Little break, and uh, welcome back, Emma Lambourne. Thank you, thank you. So Louboutin's going to press on from her white gate, but she's back from a dawdling 1400. Um, and Baltic Whisper, the stable mate, will poke up early. Um, that's pretty much it. Mega Mall raced off the speed. Do you think Louboutin gets the lead here, mate? Is that what you're saying? Well, there'll be intention there. Yeah. Um, no. Yeah, Karen, there'll be intention. Karen fr be fresh. In Karen first up. We saw Huey fresh during the week. First yeah. up and get all strung up on the inside there on something somewhere. Race two. Warwick Farm. Even money chance. Yeah. Huey always... You notice Huey when he comes back fresh? He's... It's like he's uh, recalibrating. It is like he's recalibrating. He's like an... He's the old man of the jockey's room now these days, Huey. He is. He's uh, just just a little bit younger than us. Um, it's uh, look. It's an odd little race. This um, some weird form lines, and then we've got Palladian back from a couple of duck eggs in Melbourne. Good. Uh, keen. I'm keen to number four Louboutin. Um, I love back to 1200 metres, and if it does get the lead, I think it'll win. Um, if you noticed, uh, two starts back at Canterbury over the 1250, it was still in front with 50 metres to go, and that was um, first up off a spell. Um, it's fitter now, it's back to its right distance. Um, only got run down by Demolition there, and with the horse that came third was Realised Potential, which won uh, quite well on Wednesday. Um, so yeah, pretty keen on number four Louboutin. I admit that number seven Mega Mall might have a bit of scope, but that um, that time wasn't that crash out of Beaumont, was it? Well, it was a very so, weak race. Yeah, but she did. She, yeah. did, she was stylish, was stylish. You know, sty yeah. all style. It's a, it's a it's a definitely the mark of a horse going up in grade. Well, we we, up, we up start up with a, a fucking moral, so that's the great news for the day. Hang on, where's the trumpet? Come on, you oh. can't just you can't just deliver something without <laughs> a trumpet. <laughs> Number four, Louboutin. Everything good just said. It gets, if it gets control, it just wins. If it sits yeah. OSL, it wins. Um, it's a strong horse third up. It's suited back to the, to the tournament for sure. When you talk about Megamol, you're talking about Beaumont maiden winners in average time. Yeah. You talk about Gibraltar Girl coming off two Canterbury wins with complete PRs to win by Bees Dicks on Wednesdays. I thought the dangers were possibly up the top. That, that's where the better form was, two and one. 
Um, I thought they're both around the nine dollar nine fifty range, and I, I won't be losing on them. But, they, but I will be winning a shitload on number four when it wins. So I'll be having a massive result on four, and I won't be losing on one and two, and the rest will be disasters. And uh, Glenn Baldick Whisper went around at very, very cramped odds at Hawkesbury. Yeah, well, there was a late scratching in that race. That's why the, the flux there showed it was a dollar eighty to a dollar forty because um, yeah, yeah, um, there was a uh, the, the, seven dollar chance came out. To say the race was thin is being fair. Lord Marmaduke had pr had trial well, and I wasn't surprised to see it win, but that does look particularly like ants grade to me. Okay, well look, I'm with number two, Palladium, um, because uh, his Sydney form prior, prior to uh, to going down south was um, was likeable to me. But oh, He's got that nickel ant stuff, doesn't he, then, well? Oh, mm. nickel ants. Anyway, uh, I found it... I... <laughs> <laughs> that was funny what you said, that. You know what we just had a look at this year? Great beards. Like, not so much you, but oh, fuck, we're getting old. This yeah. is just not right. But it doesn't matter, you can still read the porn guide. Yeah, I suppose. Huh? It just means that no, no cheeky bones are going to look at you. I never did anyway, so why am I blowing up about? Uh, yeah, that's why you that's why you start with it. You've been brushing brushing up on the charm, haven't you? You know, not that, really, that, no. that Glenn Pollitt, like, little uh, charisma. Well, I'm with friend and a chick turns up, they go, oh, they, they nudge me and say, listen, mate, drop off the dad's jokes. Phillies <laughs> <laughs> and Mares. I must have been, I'm a fan of dad's jokes. Phillies you know. and Mares, let's get to race two boys. Phillies and Mares, yeah, that's right. Uh, $2.90, the uh, up and coming Dagny. Named after me. $4.40 Cottage, uh, that's uh, that's in the Gourd Stable, from the Gourd Stable. $6.50 Dixie Chick, $8.50 Girl Sunday, $11 Moran, $13 Air Apparent. Now, uh, Cottage has had some time off since uh, her and victory and a trial. And a trial. Uh, had her coming across with Girl Sunday. Uh, Air Apparent didn't get out of the gates at all the other day, but we'll rate, we'll sort of closer if um, if she does jump. I can spot them. And I had Maram uh, settling up handy. Um, in the van? Well, Not certainly. Really one, one hour one back, oh, I think. Right. I've got no, I, just, I sit in the van because I like saying in the van. I like the word. That's okay. You can you can you can describe the van to be the leader. What are we or doing with Dagny? The first carriage. What are we doing, God? What are you saying about Dagny? Stylish, but not a hundred percent proven yet. I, fair, I, th I think that's a fair commentary too. Um, I I think one of the two new kids on the block will be winning, but and that's either Cottage or um, Dagny. Um, Aren't we sick of talking about Cottage? I mean. She's only had the two city runs this time in, but it seems like we've spoken about her week after week after week after week. Well, I mean, when you've been on her every start this prep and she's it won annoying. two from three times. Look at, my, look at my numbers, nine from three. Well, my, my numbers were nine from three. Could have easily been three from nine. I kind of agree. I think the winner will come out of the two. No, it's very handy. Uh, I did think there was a couple of horses of just uh, a little bit of interest there at Big Odds. Oh. Seeing you filming. I was just talking my dog in the background, is that going to be painful? That is going to make it fine. even better. Do yeah. your best. Yeah. Even better. Yeah. This show is about like this. This uh, is your park, darling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, but we I pay $10,000 a day to do the filming, but. <laughs> <laughs> it's another woman who doesn't work. Like no, 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 that's alright. It's, it's, it's great. great. It's great. Yeah, okay. okay, bye. Right, something else, Glenn? I need to. Uh, uh, well, Rustic Millie's a real. A real uh, a, a massive price. I want to have a look at it from mounting yard, from mounting yard perspective, uh, and I wanted to have a look at five air apparent. Air apparent. No, we'll five with five as well. We'll but air apparent, I thought was the best rock in the race. My was a nine three ten. I don't know why I wanted to look at uh, air apparent because it's third up tomorrow and it should be sweet and it's been breaking last week. And why is he why is, why is he sort of persevering with Dixie Chick at the fourteen hundred? Uh, what is her go? Like she's relatively hard in the market. Here. She's relatively hard in the market, and she. Isn't she always relatively hard in the market? Yeah, yeah she is. Yeah. She is. Um, look, a, a cracking run first up, and then I suppose you could say never really got to look in the next two, but she looks like a fresh 1200 blouses track. So what do you think of the problems of 1400? Uh, yeah, 1400 is there's something a bit icky about 1400 with her. But I do like how you see that she said the two runs over 1200 hasn't really got a crack at them. That might have given her a bit of freshness to springboard into the 1400. Yeah, I, maybe I, that's why she's in the market. Yeah, C can we can we can we get rock solid about Dagny? What, what's the right price? What's, what's the right price, Dagny? Seven to two. What are you saying? I'm not saying anything yet. I, th I thought you'd want about four or fifty. I know it's not that. I know it's a lot shorter than that. But 
Uh, maybe you could price it five to two. Uh, is there, is five there, to two is, is there something in that race? Because basically, what she, she's I don't, I don't know what she was when she was in Victoria. She had a long spell. She came back and she rounded them up at Kembla and she wasn't entitled to. Yep. And then at Canterbury... She springboarded the, off that. Well, the field just inverted, didn't it? Yeah. You know? Um, I, I, do think you need, I do think you need at least $4 to, to back her. I like, I'm giving numbers here. Mine went 9, 3, 10, but I wasn't particularly comfortable with 9 and 3, like even though they like the top two picks. Of course, Sunday we've got this hot little rider that is getting under everyone's um, guard here. James in his junior. He doesn't have a lot of opportunities. He rides plenty of wins, this kid. Good rider. Moran with his one out, one back fits in there. Blah, blah, blah. She had the blinkers off the other day and did a better job. She's got a Saturday run there. If I talk about this race anymore, I'm going to vomit. The highway uh, yeah, is yeah, back. We're back to 1100 for our highway, so we've got a bit, a bit more of a field. And four dollars sixty, the Terry Evans trained Oakfield time. I know Terry Evans. The Terry Evans um, name. Seven dollars. He's a good trainer. Though. Seven dollars fifty, Akasaki. Seven dollars fifty, the Little Racketeer. Eight dollars, somebody. Nine dollars fifty. Nobody. Nine dollars fifty, Glen's Border. Uh, Pellerin. Yeah. Pellerin. Hasn't rung me yet, but he'll be staying in my lounge room as usual. Uh, Twelve dollars, Madam Fran. Twelve dollars, Romlo. Fifteen dollars, Touch Sensitive. Fifteen dollars, Rat Attack. Now, Oakfield time looks to be surging forward from his high draw. Rat attack on his outside coming across. Yours, mine, or ours. He is not far away. Nor from over a horse is. Uh, touch sensitive and can't skate poking up and down underneath them with Madame Fran. It's a keen race, Glenn. Are you keen? I wouldn't say I'm super keen. Uh, I went for uh, Cody's horse, money, a bit of, um, you know, a bit of trying to stick solid coat, he's a great trainer, does a good job, I like the claim, I like how he's put the kid on, I like the record, five starts, three wins, set the turn nine days off, but I think it'll be ready to go, I was tipping it from number one, who grabbed my eye a little bit, again in the lightly race stage, uh, you know, like, as far as the favourite goes, um, I guess one of Musselbrook Maiden, at $2.60, written by H. Chow, like, whenever something wins, a Maiden by $2.60, I think of maybe the other $2.60 worth of participants that might be in the race, Get very scared with Northern Rivers form. They uh, can't even get the fucking numbers right at the photo finishes or horses in the right barriers. But I suppose you guys are talking about today. That. You'll be talking uh, about that, the ranch. Uh, the, the, uh, the, the wrong barrier horses in Hawkesbury today. Yeah. B plus. Gordo, you love these races. Come on. Keen on number five, somebody. Um, 1100 metres is on a hot speed is perfect for it. Um, it's run over 1200 metres a few times recently or last preparation, and I think that's just out of its distance range. Um, it flew at uh, Dubbo, I know it's only Dubbo, but uh, if you look previously in another uh, highway over 1,200 metres, which I think it wasn't as suited over 1,200 as it will be tomorrow over the 1,100 metres, came second to Star Shaft, which is uh, a proper horse, particularly for highways. And it was a tough run that race. Yeah. Um, remember, you remember you walking away from the monitor, Glenn going, well, how did they get that? Somebody so right. Mm. Yeah. And uh, T, T. Clark, who's on absolute fire, goes for E. Webster Hall, Hughes to T. Clark. We'll springboard off that. I like the barrier, barrier nine, can, can get a nice sort of like running line, yeah. midfield, something like that. Would have been like my that. third number for sure. And it'll fly yeah. home and win. I, I admit Little Racketeer has um, has a chance. Um, I'm not sure whether that was going quite so well as it was, what, six months ago in these highways. Uh, Pellerin. It's not, it's not um, as simple as that, it's not. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I'm against Oakfield time. If you notice, it came second over the 1110 at Port Macquarie and then went back to 1,000 metres for its victory. Although in decent times, that's an indication to me that this horse might be a, um, a country cutty. Is that what you say, Mark? Or a 1,000 metre horse? <laughs> They're all country cutties, like Gord. So. Uh, look, somebody has had one run in her life. That's uh, the 16th of July at Rose Hill. She carried V Spriggs that day. Her other, what, six runs? Seven runs, whatever they are. Uh, she's carried the um, the the, uh, the non-rider, so um, I would say that she should be favoured. And she loves good track, dude. And a few of those starts last prep were on uh, soft or heavy track. Are you guys I'm being a bit unkind here to Miss Webster Hall, the non-rider? Well, we're just suggesting that she's not maximising this horse's uh, um, oh, she did, and performances. And you got T Clark tomorrow. T Clark does. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, race four, we're up over a distance now. It's 2,000 metres. $3.50 the bull. $5 Montauk. $6.50 SEL. $7 not a gypsy. $9 multifacets. 
out to $14 Hearns Oak, $16 Be Like Dad and 20s Bar. Um, be like, well, the ball wants to lead, and A Hieronymus better not give it up this time. Uh, be, be Like Dad is, in, uh, is, is up there, and Mr. Steele, Mr. Steele, uh, who didn't jump the other day, will be persuaded forward. Um, and, you know, there's Hearns Oak not far away. Uh, this will, will, will he hand up? Uh, the, well, the, 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 this race here now, you guys don't get my mounting our mail tips on the Friday night. Was it the ball one? Yep. Yeah, he just he just started, to, he, you know, he's had one, two, three, seven runs this time in. He just showed, showed something the other night, which uh, watching him parade still made me back the ball the other night at 4.40. But I can promise you he'd lost... He'd lost about a length to two lengths on his previous run, and if he reacts even worse tomorrow night, you'll find he won't be in my numbers, or he'll be on top. Because they'll be the two options I'll have. Because I think I think he'll, <laughs> he'll be do the three. Wrong. And we've also you won't be backing him. I did ring Rob Waterhouse during the week and during the week, and he was rubbing oil into Gay Waterhouse's back on Waikiki Beach. So Gay's away. Gay's uh, away. The yeah, resilient right. value is still sweet. We're probably looking at next Saturday, and then definitely two weeks from now. Uh, curtains. Stable curtains. Everyone's gone. We predict it every year. Um, orgies on, whatever we say. And uh, but the ball very interesting. Are you tomorrow. saying that Adrian Bot has that little authority in this partnership? Yeah, I never thought of it that way. Actually, mm. now you say that. Yeah, I forgot that the um, Bot was staying. Yeah, I, I, I thanks. Mm. Yeah, thanks there, uh, Good. Because I just look at <coughs> it. I just think it's gay. Mm. You're right. The orgy mightn't be on again. Well, we'll orgy over. Yeah. Well, oh Oh no. Not oh, sure. Oh. Not sure. Not sure. NSOO. Not sure. I think these things are moral. The and that you've scared me. Yeah. Well, I, it did something last start that hadn't done yeah. the previous three starts when winning, and then when it won by just that far. Yeah, but he rode it terribly. The, yeah. I'm telling you that the I margin, the replay, the margin was all about the ride. I watched the replay. I, I, I want, disagree with him. I want him to put these guys to the sword. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want yeah, him absolutely. to put four or five lengths on him. He's say, not allowed to put four or five lengths on him. Because you get dragged to the steward's room for that. Stewards control racing. Yeah. They tell the jockeys how to ride. You find five well, lengths. If on you end up back in the bull, can you yell out to him and give him a little bit of map advice for us, Glenn? He yeah, seems right. to listen to you. So, yeah. but what he's talking about, he rode another. He, all he does is ride winners. This yeah. kid, he's a great rider. Yeah, he's, he's a great cool. rider. I'm not arguing with how good he is. I'm just saying that the handing thought, up and then sitting outside. I, know, lead, yeah. I think if you all go to the replay of that, because Mark's adamant about this and I'm adamant, and send us in some emails for the rant. Who's right and who's wrong? Or do you, do you agree or disagree? It doesn't matter who's right. Or wrong. I'm saying he rode the bull well. I'm the saying if, a big it bull. Was, if it wasn't the bull, I might have said pass mark. But it's the bull. This thing just keeps on giving. It does keep Put on giving. Others to the sword. Mounting yard mail will be saving Perfect. you there tomorrow. Okay. I promise you. So I'll bet late. Yeah. It's already well, well found. George anyway, Ward's getting wound up in a 2000 yeah. metre race. He's oh. really, he's really yeah. come on, hasn't he? So a few all you people that sent Gold 33 is going to post it back to you. <laughs> Now, I got, I got Glenn, 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 multifacets was yes. heavily, heavily back to fortnight ago yes. and really didn't take part. Yes. Um, tomorrow, it's in the right race, isn't it? Definitely in the right race. Right draw, soft underneath. It's going to uh, be in a great spot throughout running. Uh, I like how it's coming off a ninth. It was certainly in my numbers. Mark. Mm. And um, the other horse I want to mention is last try win. So I know he's coming out of a highway race or a, you know, a restricted to country performance race, but it was an astonishing run over 2,000 for a, for a horse's first try at 2,000. Seems well out of the market tw at $26. I need, I need every point of that. What about solid. the gun on Montour back in winning form? Absolutely. My numbers were like six, five, seven. And Montour, you ever seen a horse more suited by the gun? Yeah. The more you bash Montour, the yeah. more it gives. Um, yeah, SCL looks the soft one in the race, doesn't he? I'd agree with that. Not a bad little race, that. Not a bad little race, and plenty of angles, and manning are very important to me, to Gordon, to everybody who purchases them as well. Yeah. And uh, we'll, we'll uh, uh, put the lasso around race five before we um, call part one uh, at the end, at, at an end. Look at the, you know, the park's going good, isn't it? It's great. The dogs, the planes, the trucks, the cicadas. Right, we've got a, uh, one of these bodgy 1100 meter races. Le Cordon Bleu, $4.60. Prince Famous, $4.80. Paint, $5.50. Supreme Effort, $6.00. Curo, $7.00. Uh, $13.00. Press Report, of course, we've lost 
ins and outs, thank God. Have we lost ins and outs? Well, out of this race. I came out, it was out this morning, it was all I left. When did it come out to Sam? Came out at 9 o'clock. And why were you thinking God? I thought I had a great chance for us. Because uh, I'm just sick of seeing the horse. Yeah, but it was barrier trial last start. It was um, it was a, it was the um, professional. Let's ask the stewards. Let's not let our horse win day by going back. That was ridiculous that last one. Uh, Prince Famous. Will he try? He'll try for the lead here, Glenn. Yeah, he will. Yeah, push on. Uh, Whiskey all round has got toe. Echo Gal has certainly got pace. Um, and you've got uh, Paint and Curo to push up and yeah. be part of the speed. Yeah, so it, it, it's on. Doesn't Supreme Effort get a great spot from Barrier 1 here and look for some gaps? Gun. Fourth up. Fourth flying. See, Supreme Effort's a horse where I actually want drawn on the inside. Because you just want cover to the last moment, don't you? Well, Barrier you've one. got what you want, Gord. Got what you want, Gordy. I was tipping Supreme Effort on top. I was tipping it to beat ins and out, but I don't want to sound like a gibber and start talking about scratching. <laughs> and uh, I think paint will be improved, and certainly, but there's some, again those, some queries. Those, Echo like, we got Canterbury form a, a fortnight ago. Surely it's all garbage. Hmm. Well, then if you think that, you got to tip Supreme Effort. You know, it's, it just doesn't, it doesn't set set up well. Yeah. I mean, you can take some 1550 and 1900 meter form from Canterbury, but the short course form from Canterbury is not going to stand up at Rose Hill. Yeah. I've got a bit to do with Lee Curtis as far as a mate, he's a good bloke, and I remember him telling me this is a group horse press report, he's a young horse, he's a group winning training now, and I just love saying that. Well, he always was anyway. Um, I'll be interested like, yeah. to see how parades with Chris, because maybe just a change of environment, getting out of the country, switch this horse on. Remember, he had huge wraps on this horse, yeah, yeah. Uh, and met the uh, met the gay runner uh, like nine kilos better. But, um, mm. That was a decent trial at Gosford too. Okay. Mm. Well, I need to have a look at it, but at this stage, I'm tipping Supreme Effort. What about you, Gordy? What are you saying? Oh, I, I, I lean to you guys. So, what do you make of Lynn Cordon Birth Run last start? I mean, you look at the horses that ran round, it's pretty impressive stuff. Kaepernick yeah. and, and Speed. But I, thought, and I, thought, it, I thought it had. There's a bit of blood in this horse. Yeah. Oh, well, he's, a, he's one of those. He's an 1100 meter freshy, you know. Yeah. He's definitely a fresh horse. Well, um, it's. Um, what about when I came back from France? What did I used to always say? Walla, well, 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 I just never like horses. They just sorry. It does nothing for me when I see a horse perform well from an outside draw, particularly on an outside track, and then come and draw yeah. and get drawn inside. It's like oh, there's something very radically different about my word. Who are you talking about? Um, the Cordon Bleu. The Cordon Bleu. Oh, I'm interesting race. Is that the end of part one, Mark? Are you saying anything more? I'm not saying anything about this race. You'll have to... Uh, yeah, I'm with you. I, look, it's one of those races that I, um, I really struggle with. Uh, I hope that you're better at this race than I am. And you probably are. And that's the end of part end one. End of part one. We should... Um...